Hey guys, welcome back. This is Gametron and I just want to do this video for all of you guys who have been sending me a lot of questions regarding the GPD Win 2. So I was saving most of those questions for this review and I believe I have reached the point in which I can give a very comprehensive review and my thoughts about the device on a much more realistic level. So without any further ado, let's get on with it. Alright, so I'm going to start off by talking about the hardware. So the first thing is, this is a very, very niche product. It's not for everybody. It's for people who love their gaming, who love their Steam library, who love, you know, gaming on their PC and they want to have portability. So first things first, this is basically a proper working Windows laptop. This is not just a gaming device, this is a laptop. That's why I said this is for a very specific audience. So if we're talking about the hardware, this one comes with an Intel Core M3 7Y30 KB Lake chip, which is in fact an i3 processor. So this is the same processor that is used in some Ultrabooks and even the new MacBook 12 inches. So when you're getting this device from the manufacturer, it is either coming with a 128GB SSD or 256 These are the two configurations that you can find when you're ordering your device from online retailers like AliExpress, although you can upgrade the memory to any size that you like currently there is a one terabyte SSD which is also available in the market and you can upgrade your GPD Win 2 it has 8 gigabytes of RAM which is clocked at 1866 megahertz unfortunately this device does not have a standalone GPU which means that it is running off Intel's HD 615 onboard processor it also has Wi-Fi built-in which is a B G and N these are the four standards which it follows as far as the screen size goes, this is a 6 inch 720p display which is 1280 by 720 and it is a Corning Gorilla Glass 4 screen. It's an IPS touch screen which has multi-touch and it's powered by Sharp. Now keep in mind guys, this is a very glossy screen which means you're going to have a lot of reflections if you're playing indoors or even outdoors. So you need to have some sort of a matte screen filter, that's what I have done and that will really help you cut the glare down. The screen is beautiful it, and it has viewing angles which are absolutely phenomenal. You're not going to be having any dark zone issues or anything like that. So if we're talking about the construction of the device, the top portion is constructed of aluminum. It's a, it's a very MacBook sort of finish which is brushed aluminum and it feels very premium. So this black portion that you see in the middle is customizable. However, since launch, no real customization actually came. There are some YouTubers who actually removed this and they had some 3D printed panels. They tried to do some sort of customization that way. But other than that, there has been no real customization since launch. Now the bottom portion, it has a fan. Of course, this is needed for the ventilation. So as mentioned by so many other reviewers, GPD actually did a very poor job making these little feet. As you can see, they are very very small and they do not offer any kind of elevation, so they are practically useless. Now GPD does sell rubber feet which come along with the metal door kit if you buy that for the SSD. Honestly in my opinion I feel it's a rip off because GPD should not be charging customers for things which should have been included in the first place. The rest of the body is all made of plastic. It does seem to be a high grade and constant use of approximately 6 months I can easily say it hasn't shown any sign of wearing down so far. Now the most important feature of the GPD Win 2 is the full blown X box controller built right into it. I mean from the A, B, X, Y buttons to the colors, everything gives you a comfortable look as a gamer when you're holding the device in your hands for the first time. If you're a PlayStation fan, they have markings for square, circle, cross and triangle which are there for you to easily identify the keys. Now the Win 2 also features two joysticks. These are very similar, in fact almost identical to those which are used in the PlayStation Vita. Although these are a little smaller in size, but they are very responsive and they have no dead zone issues. Strangely enough, they do not click. And this was one of the biggest cries from people who bought the actual Win 1. Everybody wanted a clickable joystick. They have given us dedicated L3 and R3 buttons which are right here on the back. One more feature which is missing in this retail version is the inclusion of rumble motors. So the rumble feature has been removed I believe due to cost cutting. It was included in the prototype and also in the initial batch of uh, GPD Win 2 when it was released in the market after the Indiegogo campaign finished but now it is missing and I believe it's not going to be included in all future versions of Win 2. 
The mouse controller feature is maintained using this tiny switch in the middle of the Win 2. I must say that when I got my GPD Win, I was afraid of overusing the switch and eventually breaking it. However, I can easily say that after 6 months of continuous use almost on daily basis, the switch is still working perfectly. So on the back side you have L1, L2, L3 and R1, R2, R3. I have to be honest with you, just like the mouse controller switch, I was not comfortable pressing these buttons. So the first feeling I was having when I clicked on these, you cannot expect Xbox or PlayStation standard triggers. These are very clicky and they feel a bit loose, which makes you a little doubtful about how long it's going to be before these will break. I was so worried initially that I started playing all my games using an Xbox controller. However, soon after I discovered that these are just fine, it just takes a little getting used to and once you're used to them, they work just normal. The keyboard is very similar to what we find on a UMPC or even a Blackberry. The keys give a nice tactile feed and they offer very good typing experience. They are slightly raised and they give a very comfortable feeling when you're using them. As you can see, the WASD keys are shaped a little differently and they're even having a yellow color just to make them stand out from the rest of the keyboard for people who prefer to use keyboard instead of the Xbox controller. My biggest complaint however is that the keyboard is not backlit. This is a feature that would have been really nice if it was included by GPD. So during the evening or night time when you are playing in a dark room and you want to use your keyboard for something, you will not be able to find the keys right away, so you'll be depending on the screen light. So as with a normal full functioning keyboard, it does include the directional keys as well as a dedicated function and windows key. In my opinion, the speakers are oddly placed right below the joysticks. This one has two stereo speakers. I have experienced muffled sound because of my thumbs when I'm playing games. They tend to be in the way. So the Win 2 charges over USB-C. It does support fast charging. The Win 2 comes with two 4900 mAh batteries which gives you around 3-4 to four hours of non-intensive gaming. Again, this is something that I cannot really talk about because it depends on so many different factors. The screen brightness, what sort of game you're playing, how optimized it is, and how much you know the fan is revving up. So there is no concrete answer for this, but it does give you a very very decent battery life. Also keep in mind that you can manage your battery by using the power option, so you can definitely tweak the way your battery is being used. One important thing that I want to mention is that this device is a PD device which is a power delivery. Similarly, you cannot use just any power pack. If it does not support power delivery, it will not work with this device. I've already tried using my high-end 26,800 milliamp power pack which I got from Anchor and it is unfortunately useless. It does not charge the GPD Win 2. So this is something just to keep in mind. So on the back, you also have a combo headphone microphone jack which takes a standard 3.5 millimeter pin, a full size USB 3 port which is way more tighter than it should be. When I got my Win 2 this was also one of the things which scared me every time I had to plug a dongle or a cable inside this port. It was so tight that I was feeling I will actually break it. There's also a micro SD card slot which lets you upgrade your memory so you can play games or save data or you know just have some media files or whatever you want to do with it. It has a write speed of 85 megabits per second. If you feel that you have to connect an external display so you can easily use either the type C port or the built in micro HDMI which can give you 4K at 30 Hz. Now let's talk about gaming. This is the main reason why anybody would be interested in buying this device. This is not just a laptop. This is a gaming device as well. But unfortunately most of the people who have reviewed this device, I'm not going to mention any names, but some of those high-tech YouTubers who are doing you know paid reviews, I don't really feel that they have done justice to this device because they are just talking about an out-of-the-box experience. They're not talking about undervolting. They're not talking about adjusting specific game settings this is how PC gaming goes guys you have to adjust the settings within the game that you're playing this is not a console in which you just put the disc in and it starts working you have to tweak the settings in order to get the best experience out of the game in fact if you're talking about the benchmarks the 3d mark website they have already listed that the performance of the GPD Win 2 is very similar to what the Lenovo Yoga 720 13 inch model gives which comes with a dedicated i5 7200U series processor. 
If you want to compare the score between these two, the Lenovo scores at 5,886 points, while the GPT Win 2 is not far behind at 5,491. So in terms of software, the device has a full-blown Windows 10 operating system. It does the usual Windows stuff, it takes the updates, it takes some time, but I'm really having an awesome experience. So for those of you who want to know the answer, should they buy this one or should they keep the Nintendo Switch? It's very simple. If you want to have PC games, if you want to have all your Steam library on the go with you everywhere you go, then the Switch is not gonna help you. You need to get the GPD Win 2 because this is one device which is having the ability to play all your retro games, all your emulators, and all your AAA games, almost all of them. Personally, I'm very, very impressed with the hardware. I can easily recommend it to anybody who's an enthusiast, anyone who's a hardcore gamer. So for those people who are saying that you're not gonna be having a 60 frames per second experience and the Switch is better, tell me about any Switch game which is basically a port of a PC game and it runs on 60 FPS. Wolfenstein, Doom, they're all running at 30 FPS. And if you do certain tweaks to your device, you can actually play it better than the way it runs on the Nintendo Switch. So there you go. Anything you want to play which is already on the Switch, apart from the exclusives, you can do that on your GPD Win 2. And this is the only device which can run all your emulators and all your games in one single package. One thing to keep in mind is the heat level this thing generates. The Win 2 tends to get hot when you're playing processor intensive games. According to some users, the brand of SSD also plays a role in how hot the device gets. Personally speaking, when I upgraded my Win 2 stock 128 SSD to the 512, I hardly noticed there is any difference. I didn't really experience any significant rise in temperatures. I believe it depends on the game you're playing and how it handles processing. One thing that might help with the temperatures is that now you can actually replace the stock heatsink with a copper or aluminum heatsink which is being sold right now on the internet. If you're not using a custom heatsink, Simply make sure you're playing in a ventilated space and you would be fine. So, you've seen the review thus far, you've got all the information that you needed, and now you're left with one question only. Is this for you? I'll be honest here guys, it depends on what you wish to do with it. Some people say it's great for emulators and retro games, some others say it's a perfect alternate for anything from Nintendo like the 3DS or even the Switch. Some say it's a great little laptop, and some simply want this to play their AAA games on the go. Personally, I can say this. GPD Win 2 is the most powerful portable handheld gaming Windows machine ever created. I simply cannot consider this as a gaming console only. Yes, it's an awesome gaming machine that plays almost anything and everything under the sun. Let it be AAA games, retro games, emulators, or anything else. But it does so much more. The fact that it runs a full retail version of Windows 10 is a feature that exceeds everything else. Now I'm not a real fan of Windows as I have been a Mac user for almost 10 years. However, I can tell you ever since I started using the GPD Win 2, I've become so much addicted to Windows that I simply enjoy the time that I'm using it. So what's my use other than gaming you ask? Well, I've got a full version of Adobe Photoshop 2018 which runs flawlessly on this little guy. Being a graphic designer and a photographer, having a full Photoshop version on the go is a dream come true. I edit all my YouTube thumbnails for my Win 2 videos using this device. But that's not all. I also have Audacity installed on the Win 2 for doing voiceovers such as this one, the one I'm doing right now. Moreover, I've got Filmora video editing software, which helps me make gameplay videos on the go. Using the Windows 10 DVR feature, recording gameplay, editing and uploading all from the GPD Win 2 is a feature that simply outclassed all of my gaming hardware till this date. And don't get me wrong, I know that Nintendo Switch is a very very capable machine and it has already sold millions of units since launch, but unless you're a diehard fan of Nintendo, which I am not, the only reason I bought it was to play high-end PC and cross-platform games like Doom, Wolfenstein and LNOR while I'm on the go. Not to mention the docking hybrid feature which was also a selling point for me. However, with the Win 2 in my hands, I have the entire PC game library open in front of me. And whenever I wish, I can replicate the docking feature by connecting my GPD Win 2 to an external display. 
For these reasons, I'm hardly using my Nintendo Switch as much as I used to use it before and it may soon be that I will sell it simply because I do not see myself using it in the long run or even buying any more games for it. Now, I'm about to make a very bold statement in the end. It may not be for everybody, it may not apply on you. If I'm given a choice to keep just one gaming device or a computing device in my house, I would happily give away my MacBook, my PC, my Xbox 360, Xbox One and even the PS4. And I will be very, very happy with just having the GPD Win 2. So this was my conclusive review on the GPD Win 2. Let me know what you guys think, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Thank you very much for watching guys. Leave your comments about the video or about the GPD Win 2 if you already have it. And I will catch you guys in the next video.